Crazy Monkey Cat, and Sleepy Bulldog are proud to present Mrs. Walker. All right. So after Ashoka's death, we have this power vacuum where you have this period of civil war, and it takes quite a while before anybody really, you know, takes control over the territory. Now. Chandra Gupta, and notice that this is now two words with a space, Chandra Gupta. No relation to Chandra Gupta Maurya, completely different person. Okay. Chandra Gupta is the founder of the Gupta dynasty, which is the other major dynasty that we have um, for this unit on the empires. Chandra Gupta, Gupta last name, Gupta Empire. No relation to Chandra Gupta Maurya. I gooped an empire once. Okay, couple of significant emperors. Samudra Gupta was known for his military conquests over 40 years in power. Also, Chandra Gupta II was the leader of the Gupta Empire at its height, when it's the most powerful, when it is the most wealthy and... You need to remember his name. You know, I'm starting to see some kind of pattern. It might explain why this is called the Gupta Empire. Might have something to do with it. All right. During the Gupta Empire, there are a lot of achievements in various cultural areas. We talked a lot about their mathematical achievements. Some of the biggies. They introduced zero as a number to represent nothing. And there's an awful lot of math that you can't do without zero to represent nothing. Not zero as a placeholder, but zero to mean nothingness. Um, how was it possible to communicate that concept before they actually come up with this, this idea? You know, if somebody asked me, how many cows does your family own? I could say, we don't have any cows. Not... Wow, I have no way to communicate. Well, it's it's a fundamental change in what you're using numbers for. Mm -hmm. uh, zero is only useful for doing mathematics. It's not useful for counting things because if there aren't any, why count them? Exactly. Or, I mean, well, I mean, if there aren't any and you go to count them, well, you're done, aren't you? Pretty much. All right. They also introduced the use of decimals, which helps them express pi in four decimal places accurately. Okay, so they introduced decimals. 3.141. And modern numerals. We call them Arabic numerals, numerals meaning numbers. But they're called Arabic numerals because the Arabs were the ones who introduced them to Europe, but they got them from the Indians. So those were actually created during the Gupta Empire. And if you think that's not a big deal, try doing your math homework in Roman numerals. Okay. All right, some other things that are important from India, Gupta Empire culturally, classical dance. We're not talking about Bollywood. Okay, classical Indian dance is both extremely complex and very beautiful. I like Bollywood. Also, a lot of di different written works. A major playwright who probably worked in the court of Chandragupta II, it's named Kalidasa. His most famous play is the Shakuntala, which is still performed in India today. Other achievements we talked about were a lot of things to have to do with medicine. They performed some surgeries, um, plastic surgeries. They had identified over a thousand diseases and conditions and over 500 medicinal plants meaning they were good for medical purposes. So the Gupta Empire culturally, very rich time period in India, and everything we think of as classical Indian culture really comes together during that time. 